Baseball is back. Three simple words that make you feel so much. The sell pine tar and leather. The carefree nature of a ball game on a warm summer night. Lemonade, ice cream, peanuts, and Boog's Barbecue at the yard. It's as American as apple pie. The national pastime we missed to help us through tough times. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm here with the opening game of the 1955 Washington Senators season. Now, this video is only going to be one game, not a series. Most of the time, like when there's a three-game series, I will play all three games in one video. Or if there's a four-game series, I'll play two games in one video and two games in another video if I care to broadcast both. But in this case, we only play, we open against Baltimore in Washington. And it's only one game against Baltimore. And then we play the New York Yankees. And then we play Boston. So this is like one game standalone. It's the only game of the day. And it's against Baltimore. And then we go play another team. So this is only going to be one game. And this is the very first game of the season us against Baltimore. So let me uh, go down and uh, reduce the sound to nothing. And then we will play day. Um, we have Schmitz pitching against Wilson for them. We will make them the uh, computer and we're the human and i think we are ready to go so one difference in um i know when i announced this season i said that I, everything would be the same as in 1955 one thing that is not going to be the same is that um and schmidt starts off by walking uh, the first Orioles battery phases. One thing that won't be the same is that we will be playing in more modern parks than in 1955 for most teams. And there is now there's a double. Schmitz is getting his butt handed to him big time. Already, already Baltimore is on top, one nothing. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be playing more modern parks. I didn't have the park for Griffiths, Griffith Stadium, which is where they played in 1955. So we are playing in Nationals Park um, because I wanted to get the graphics, at least, of a park that's from that city. And really, Schmitz is, while I'm talking, Schmitz is just doing terrible. At least he forced the first out here on a pop-out to Valdiviso. With Baltimore, I had one nothing. And Abrams up, and he walks. This is crazy. I and mean, Baltimore wasn't even good. We got a, a pop out to first base. Mickey Vernon will take care of that. And so there is two outs. There's only one run across. If he can get Marsh out, we're all right for right now. And that's a ground ball to Valviso, and he got it. So Schmitz does get out of a terrible inning, only allowing one run, which is great. So Jim Wilson now pitching to Eddie Yost for our team, and Eddie Yost gets a walk. Uh, Oravets is up. Oravets gets a fly ball to center, but Abrams is a four. That might be a double or something. No, a shoestring catch? Are you crazy? But at least Yost advanced to second. And that's going to be a single by Runnels. Nice. Um, I am, you know what, I'm going to send the runner. And he, and he did make it. So it is, we tied the game. Thank God. Me burning up, and he walks. And that brings up Roy Sears. And Roy Sears hits a ground ball to short, where he has a one. And that's a double play. So at least we tied the game. Um, Schmitz is terrible inning, although here he is, he's starting another terrible inning with a double allowed to Billy Cox. 
And Jimmy Wilson pictures up, and he's going to bunt him over. It looks like to third base. No, no, we got the uh, we got the lead runner. Nice. Fly ball to center. So that's going to be another out. And Brand is up, and he hits a ground ball to second. That's Runnels. And that's it. So we're uh, tied with one, going to the uh, bottom of the second inning with Carlos Paula. Uh, and he is going to hit a home run. Thank you, Mr. Sunshine. So, wait, what? Yeah, all right. Uh, first, they didn't look like they put the run up on the board. So yeah, so, now, so we're ahead two to one, one and that's going to be a double for Jose Valdivilzo. Still don't know how to pronounce that guy's name. And uh, that brings up Bruce Edwards. And he th hits a ground ball to the shortstop. And Johnny Schmitz is up, and he pops out. So there's two down. And Eddie Yost up. And he walks for the second time this game. To give way to Orovets. And he hits a ground ball to the third, third, the third baseman. What is he at? Three. And it is an out. So we go to the top of the third. 1-1 one, one game, and this time the fly ball almost allowed another leadoff double. Schmitz, I don't know how long Schmitz is going to last out there. Trinidos is up. He hits a pop out first. And that brings up Cal Abrams, and he strikes out. And so we are in, now we're in the bottom of the third. Pete Rawls up, up. We're ahead two to one. Foul out to the catcher. Would be great to start off one and oh, especially since we're going to play the Yankees next. And they were good that year. They won 96 games. Mickey Vernon is out. And Roy Seavers. Roy Seavers hits a fly ball to center field. And that'll probably be an out. So we've got uh, Hal W. Smith up against Schmitz. And there's a triple one to four double. I, it, Schmitz has a thing. He just cannot get... He has to allow a leadoff double every inning. It's like a requirement. Ground ball to shortstop. That's Valdiviso. Hopefully he makes the play, and he does. Bobby Cox, or Billy Cox, is up, and he walks, so and that's not the worst thing in the world. It sets up a double play with the pitcher up, but he flies out instead of hitting it on the ground. Two down, and Daring is up, and he walks. Bases loaded for Miranda. And Miranda's going to hit a fly ball and barely get out of this inning is what Schmitz is doing. So, I don't know. I'm playing with fire here with Schmitz, I think. But Carlos Paula is up at the plate. It would be nice if we could just, like, you know, put some easy breathing room between us and the Orioles. But it doesn't seem like our offense wants to do that. Valdiviso is up, and he hits a ground ball to a short stop. And he bobbles the ball, so Valdiviso is safe. I'm going to tr see if he can try to steal. And now he can't, or uh, he probably, probably wouldn't if I tried, so I'm not going to. And that's a line now by Bruce Edwards, and then that brings up Johnny Schmitz. Which would be a perfect time to pinch hit, but I'm not going to. There's a fly ball to left. He's a three. That's Dave Philly. And he makes the catch. So Dave Philly, the aforementioned Dave Philly is up now. And there's a ground ball to second. At least it's not a double. And
and that's an out. So Trinidos up. Gus Trinidos lines out. And that brings up Cal Gibbs. Who's going to hit a fly ball to the right fielder who is a four. That's Carlos Paula. And that's it. He makes the play. Nice. So, uh, yeah. We've got Adios, the off man, our lead off man. He is going to line out. He's out for the first time in the game with two walks previously. Oravets for two on the day, and he's going to hit a single. So he gets himself a hit, bringing up Ronalds, who's one for two on the day, and he is going to hit a single. Nice. Mickey Vernon with runners at the corners only one away. And he is going to hit a double. That'll that'll score a run. Gives us a little bit. Gives Schmitz a little bit of breathing room. Um, I am going to hold the runners. So we got runners at second and third. One away. Seavers up. And he hits a fly ball to left. left. Dave Philly. He's a three. Maybe he can't get to it. No, it's caught. And we're going to hold the runners. So, or hold the runner. So it's, we got a four to one lead. The runner from third scores. And we have another single by Carlos Paul. And I'm going to hold the runner. And Valdeviso. And he is going to fly out. Man, just missing another home run for our Washington team. But we have a four to one lead now. Little breathing room for Schmitz. And he gets a line out versus a line out by Pal W. Smith. Uh, Fred Martin rushes up and he's going to hit a single. So Marsha board, one out. Billy Cox up. Ground ball to short. That's, he's a two. Let's see if he can make the play. And it is a double play. So Jim Wilson back out on the mound for Baltimore, losing four to one. Bruce Edwards up for us. That's going to be a ground ball. 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 Jim Schmitz is up. He strikes out. Or Johnny Schmitz. And uh Eddie Yost. Eddie Yost is going to hit it. Get a hit. Hit. He's he's one for two with two walks today. Or a bat. And he strikes out. And I am going to send Schmitz out there at least for the seventh. Uh, he's pitching to the pitcher, but they may pinch hit for him, and they do with Jim Dyke, who is going to hit a single. And actually get a double. He stretched it to a double. So there's a ground ball second base. That's going to move Dyke over to second. Rand is up. Man, he's going to strike out. So Schmitz can even get out of this inning now without even allowing a, run, a single run, which would be great. But even if a run scores. Nope, that's going to be in and out. And he gets out of the inning. Schmitz doing great here. I will have to take a look at the bullpen, though, after the inning and see if maybe we want to go to a reliever, but it depends also if we get another run here. Runnels is out. And the new pitcher is Don Johnson for the Orioles, who was apparently on Washington at one point based on the photo. Mickey Vernon. Mickey Vernon's going to foul out. And Roy Evers is up, and he strikes out. All right. Uh, Johnny Schmitz is going back out there, but let's see what we've got in the bullpen. I want to take a look and see what I got here that I can use. Now, as I recall, we don't have a lot of good relievers. We even have a Bob Klein out there that's terrible. So I don't know about what's going on there. I may have to fix that. Um, 
to Kaylee's. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with uh, I'm gonna stick with Schmitz. I mean, he's only given up one run so far, so there's a single, single the leadoff single by Gus Trinidos. Cal Abrams is up, and he is going to hit a fly ball to center where we have a four and Oravets, so that's not good news. Yeah, that's a double. So Hal is up, and he hits a fly ball. Center field, which is probably going to score at least score the man on third. No, the, all the runners hold. Nice. And that is a ground ball shortstop A. That will probably score the man on third. And it does and moves Abrams over to uh, third. And then Cox is up, and he's going to pinch hit Dave Pope. And Dave Pope strikes out. So no, not too bad for Schmitz. I mean, he, he allowed a run, but we still have a two-run lead. I will again look at the uh, really pitching situation next inning. But again, not a lot of good choices out there. Valdez is up. He's going to hit a single. So we got one out and a man aboard. And, and Bruce Edwards up. And he, oh man, right between two walks, he flies out. Now, I knew Schmitz was coming up. You know what? I am going to pinch hit for him. Um... He is a righty who's even, so we will pinch hit McDermott, who is also one of the pitchers. But he's a starter, so he will not be the guy that pitches when we go back out there. And he flies out, so... Now I don't have a choice. Schmitz is out of the game. I have to put somebody else in. Um, he's probably a starter. He's definitely a starter. Um, he's almost definitely a starter. There's not really many. There's not too many choices to Kaylee's is basically it and I got to solve this bullpen because this is a terrible bullpen I'll have to do something about this it's a good thing I'm only playing one game uh, but to Kaylee's will be pitching for us in the ninth trying to hold the uh, Orioles to nothing and they send up by a build pinch hit against him that's a fly ball to the left, and of course that's a four, so he's going to get a double. I mean, the whole outfield is terrible. Daring is up. They're going to pinch Majeski, and he strikes out. So, Jacalis gets the first out, and Rand is up, and he hits a ground ball to second. And that's Runnels, and he's a three. He beats the throw, though, so we have the runners at the corners with one away, and Dick Phillip pops out to the second baseman, Runnels. So there's two down. We have the Orioles down by two. And Trent goes up. And he hits a single and knocks in a run. I'm just going to stop the run because... And there's a strikeout. And we do barely escape with a 4-3 win. The Senators, my friends, are 1-0. Barely. And we do have to do something about the relief pitching situation. But there's the line. Schmitz, uh, eight innings pitched, eight hits allowed, two earned runs, four walks. Allowed a lot of guys on, for sure. And then Chikales came on, allowed three hits. Um, in the ninth, but managed to only allow one run to cross the plate for the Orioles, which gave us the win. So there it is, Washington's 1-0, and, and that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.